Hey guys, we are live, Station Tuesday ready. Um, again, every Tuesday live <laughs> at 3 and we're going to talk about a few entrepreneurial stuff. We're going to talk about um, your entrepreneurial journey. We're going to talk about what it means to be an entrepreneur. So send through your, um, your questions, send through everything you need to know about your entrepreneurial journey and what you want to know about uh, your side hustle or your business. But first, we have some awesome news this week. Um, check this out. This is the Entrepreneur Magazine. Okay, and if you look here, there's how to be a millionaire in your 20s. That's the first clue. And if you turn the page, then there it is, boom. So, so excited. What a privilege to be in the Entrepreneur Magazine. There's so many entrepreneurs that has been in this magazine, awesome entrepreneurs. Um, what a privilege to be a part of this group of trendsetters and amazing entrepreneurs in South Africa. So here we have page nine, the smarts section. And uh, we have from page nine, then we have page 10, page 11, and then a little bit on page 12. There's the book. So yeah, guys, what a, what a privilege, what a life goal. And um, so, so excited about this that, that happened. And yeah, thank you for the entrepreneur team and especially Nadine for all of the great work. It's a great article. Like we did an, we did an hour uh, interview with the entrepreneur team and then and Nadine. And then when the, when the book came back, or when the magazine came back, the article was great. So yeah, uh, thank you for the entrepreneur team and Nadine for writing such a great article. It's such a privilege and I'm so excited and yeah, what a life goal. <laughs> also, thank you to my team and my you know, support system and everyone that believed in me. And yeah, when I was a little boy, I, I checked out the Entrepreneur Magazine and I thought, yes, one day, life goals. So yeah, guys, that's the first big news. And then the second big news is we have our course ready. Six zeros to a million. Uh, we are in collaboration with School of Life and um, Hey Lead and uh, all of the courses they have there at the Future Leaders Program. Um, which is awesome because it's associated with all of the big names like Arctic of Fear and Fetsas and everything. So it's going to be great. So we're going to roll this out in schools um, ASAP. It's a course that goes about six zeros to a million. Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Um, let's wave. Okay, great. We're waving. It's a new thing on live chat. So um, Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Um, so yeah, guys, we are rolling this course out. Uh, in schools and it's about the basics of getting your mindset right to create wealth and to create fin financial independence especially among the school students so we talk about you are the one uh, set, set goals that keeps you accountable you need money uh, you will never have more time change your mindset money creates money and adding value I think it's a great course with great value uh, especially for for school students I think we're targeting um, grade 10s to 12s but even from grade 8 to 12 any high school students so if you want this course at your high school let me know and then we can organize and, and come and give the course we do it normally over six weeks so yeah super excited about that as well guys so we yeah we're collaborating with the big guys um, and we're gonna do a lot of schools going to do a lot of schools this year. Zander, thanks for joining in. Let's wave. Awesome. Okay. Okay, cool guys. So, um, some great news. If you've just tuned in, um, you can check the feed from the start at the top again. I talked a bit about my interview with the Entrepreneur Magazine, which was awesome, and um, our new course that we're going to launch at the schools. So great. What are we talking about today? Shalandri, Zander, How's your businesses? What are you up to? Do you have any questions in terms of business, entrepreneurship, or your side hustle? Let me know and we will answer it live. Um, but my, my two cents for today is about the, the fact that you create your own reality. Okay, you create your own reality. 
every day with anything you do. Um, we always like to chill out in the streets under the shade instead of doing the live session in the office. Um, so just to get a bit of space and create some atmosphere. So yeah, so everything you do on a daily basis is seeds that you plant. Okay? It's seeds that you plant that's going to come up in your future and you determine what that harvest is going to look like in your future. Okay? It's all about what you do today. There's a quote from Bill Gates I read the other day um, and it says that some people uh, don't have an ex you know, can't, um, don't have an excuse for being born poor. Okay, it's not up to them, they were born poor and it's not their fault. But nobody can have an excuse for dying poor. Okay, you have a life, you have a life of 100 years, 80 years, which in you can create wealth and you can plant seeds and you, seeds and you can create value and that grows and creates wealth for yourself. So nobody has an excuse not to create wealth and not to plant good seeds. So what I normally talk about when I talk about planting seeds in your future is let's say um, you, you're reaping some bad, um, some bad harvests. You're having some bad harvests, harvests and you're reaping some bad results. Uh, let's say you, you're studying, you, you did your last math test and you got some bad results. Okay, Most probably you planted the wrong seeds. So instead of planting the study hard seed, instead of planting the um, energy seed, instead of planting um, the knowledge seed, instead of planting the late hours seed and um, practice test seed, you maybe planted some of the PlayStation seeds and some of the series seeds and you know some of the other seeds in life and now when the test comes there's a massive plant right next to you but it's not a math plant it's a playstation plant and it's real big it's a massive playstation plant or series plant but your math plant is just this big and now you can't harvest and you fail in your math test uh, because your math plant is too small and uh, that's a problem so it's all about the seeds you plant uh, Shalandri, Zander, Isal, thanks for joining in uh, let us know what's up, how's your business going, do you have any questions in terms of entrepreneurship, um, your side hustle or your business. Today we're talking a bit about the seeds that you plant in your life and the fact that you need to take responsibility for where you are today and what you've accomplished today. Because everything you've accomplished and done up to today is because of your actions and because where in what situations you've placed yourself and what kind of seeds you planted in your life. So I use the analogy of a math test and let's say you got a bad result in your math test. It's because you have not planted the correct seeds. You didn't plant the time, energy, study, knowledge seeds. You might have planted the PlayStation and series seeds. And now when the test comes, your PlayStation plant or series plant is this big and your math plant is this big. And now you can't get a good harvest from that math plant and you don't um, succeed in the test. So it's all about what seeds you plant and also what seeds you water. If you want to become a great entrepreneur, you're going to have to water the business seed. You're going to have to water the experience seed. You have to gonna, have to, you're going to have to water the you know, financial knowledge seed the you know financial concept seed with all of the books that you read you're gonna have to water those if you if you want to be a great entrepreneur but you're always watering the party seed the tv seed the again series playstation xbox um even some other seeds if, if you want to be a great entrepreneur but you're constantly watering watering your cricket seed you know or your sports seed or your running seed then you're going to be a great runner and a great cricketer, but you're not necessarily going to be a great entrepreneur. So decide on what you want to be and make sure that you plant the correct seeds and that you water the correct seeds so that you can have the correct tree at the end of the day. 
Another example that I always talk about is I had a lot of friends that studied engineering with me. And as we started in first year, all of most of them said, I'm going to study engineering and then I'm going to start my own engineering company. I'm going to start my own practice. And throughout the four years that we studied, we always watered the engineering seed. Okay, we put a lot of hours into engineering and, and we all watered the engineering seed. But I was watering my business seed on the side as well. After hours when I was finished studying, I would always have small businesses watering my business seed, um, reading up on material. They did not water their business seed. So at the end of the day, they were great, great engineers, but they were not great businessmen. And therefore, they couldn't open their own practices. And that's where the different come, difference comes in. Focus on what you want to achieve, make sure you plant the correct seeds, and make sure you water them a lot. Sander is asking, when you have a business idea, but putting the concepts into success is a little difficult. Okay, Zander, <laughs> yes, it is a little difficult. It's not that easy. So the business idea is the first part. And to be quite honest, there's a lot, a lot of people that has business ideas. Um, I get that a lot. Albert, would you fund this business idea? And if, if you want to know about funding, I talked about uh, two weeks back, I had a whole live session on funding um, business ideas. But a lot of people have business ideas. And the, the difference between success and failure in terms of that business idea is the action that you're going to put in. So Zander, you're going to have to put in the, the work, the hard work, and not just physical hard work, but also mental hard work. You're going to have to study all your um, you know, entrepreneurial books, find out how business works, find out how you, know, you need to run this business, how you need to start up this business, read up on lean business startup, read up on business processes, understand how this is going to work. And then furthermore, you need to understand the industry. So read up on the industry, go see other companies, um, follow other companies that does the same thing. And that takes a lot of time and work. But if you do that, your mind gets focused on that business and that industry. And then amazing stuff happens. So if you put your mind to it and you put in the work and the hours to, to, to learn and to study and to master that topic, then if you combine that with the actual actual action of implementation, then it must be a success. So Zander, go out, put in the work, put in the effort. Um, it doesn't matter where you are, if you're, in a, if you're currently, you know, for all of you guys out there, if you're currently in school, if you're currently having a day job, um, don't let your business ideas float away. Put them to action. Do the research, uh, study, and then take action. And take action in small steps. You can grow that business um, gradually and do a lean startup. Go read up on lean startup and figure out how to grow that business uh, slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, guys, work after hours. If you get home from work, take a few extra hours and work on that idea. If you're still in school, as soon as you get home, take a few hours. If you're studying, make time uh, to make that idea a reality and a success. Cool. Shalandri, Zander, Esal, thanks for joining in, guys. And um, everyone, if you're just joining, joining in now or just uh, viewing the video right now, go check it at the top of my stories and watch it from the start. We revealed some awesome um, feedback. Uh, we can maybe just... We have our course, six zeros to a million, for all of the uh, schools and the students. And then I'm featured in this month's Entrepreneur magazine um, in March's issue, issue uh, from page 9 to 12. Um, there it is. So, what an, what an amazing journey we have been on. Um, when we started last year, May, we started with the Millionaire 22 project um, with our focus on inspiring people and helping them to become financially independent. And if I look at how far we've come, it's it's just amazing okay guys so thank you for this week's live session i hope you have a great day and a great week uh, keep tuned keep tuned in